Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects CC 2018 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use Stencil Alpha to create what's, you know, what's very similar to the double negative effect that you see in so many different movies, particularly in the intros. Uh, True Detective, for example, had it. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you what it looks like here. I'll show you a rough copy. I'll just click on my VLC player, hit spacebar, and there you're going to see my name, Curtis, and then only the letters of my name have the background everything else has been blacked out now that we're gonna do a little bit of a better job here on this one because we're gonna relight it and I'll show you how to do that as well but basically I'm gonna show you how to create that in like uh, two minutes so let's just get right into this guys I've selected some meteor footage you could select any footage it doesn't matter what you use um, that being said if you want to follow along this footage is free to download on video pixels uh, just search meteor shower and you'll find this footage and you can work with me now I'm going to right click on this inside of my project panel and I'm going to create a new composition from this selection. Bang, there's our meteor shower, it looks pretty wild. Excellent. The next step is we're going to create a second layer or basically we're going to create a type layer. So clicking on the horizontal type tool here, click on that and then I am going to type in meteor. And it doesn't matter what you type in guys, it was just for the effect. So I'm going to then click on the selection tool and I'm going to center it a little bit here. So let's go, where do you think? Right about there? Excellent. Now, if this is all you need to do, all you need to do now is, you don't need to go super fancy, pardon me. What the next step is, is you want to go to your mode and you want to change it. So if you don't see mode here in your panel, you can right click over the, the, uh, the column here drop down to columns and make sure that modes is check mark again if that doesn't work for you you can go down to layer up to layer part of me and then go down to blending mode and then select your blending mode I'm gonna do it down here because it's just how I work so I'm gonna select the mode from normal you wanna go down to stencil alpha and now watch boom we've got the effect in place we hit play and you'll see that we're in business, we're working. Uh, the gray and the white squares there indicate that the background is transparent. So if I was to render this out, I could render it with an alpha channel and it would render out nothing but the, the title here. So just something to keep in mind that you could just render these out. Um, that's kind of all there is to it, but let me show you how to do it one better. So another step here that you might want is because it's a bit too dark for my liking, what I would do in this situation is I would create a new layer. I would click on the uh, underlying video part of me. Then I would go to layer, new layer, new solid layer. Click on that and I'm going to make it white. I'll make it the comp size. Then I'll hit OK. Now, that is not exactly what we want, granted, but here's what you do. You want to take that white solid and then you want to change its mode from normal to something like overlay now take a look if I turn this white solid off it's darker if I turn the white solid on with the overlay it's much much brighter it's not perfect necessarily but it's very very good and that even gives you a bit of a more pronounced effect so I basically just relit the shot with a solid and uh, and a blending mode but guys really that's all there is to it this kind of gets you the whole double negative very cool comic book this is very popular in comic book style uh, introductions and uh, really that's about it guys so thanks for watching this video I've got a lot more stuff coming and uh, stay tuned all right take care bye bye